Well, hello. This is you, Abigail, and welcome to another new series. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, Sky Factory 2.5. Uh, currently, we're running uh, version 2.5.3. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to create a new world, and we're going to call this Blue Horizons. And we'll go ahead and use that as the seed as well. Blue Horizons, alrighty, and I've already got all the settings set, difficulty and all that, so we'll go ahead and create the world and get started. It's time to build. Yes, alrighty, and here we are. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started real quick. We're going to make some room in our inventory on our hot bar, get all this stuff out the way, so this way uh, we can work. So first things first, we're going to have to definitely mess with that volume. That's the one setting I did not change. So we'll just go ahead and turn that down a bit. Alrighty, go ahead and get our crafting bench. Make that real quick. And... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and dig straight down and place that crafting bench to the side of the dirt block. Hopefully we'll get a sapling out of this first group. And here we are, crafting bench. Now we're going to have to make... Oh, there went a sapling right there. I just saw it disappear off into the distance. There went another one. We're not fast enough. We're going to lose it all. Oops. And this side. We may have to restart. If we're lucky, though, we'll get at least one sapling. That's all we really need. Get off here to the other side. And over to here. And we'll see what happens. Go ahead and grab this one back. And we got our first sapling. Good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and place that there. And we'll let the rest of these leaves decay real quick. Maybe we'll help them along. And doesn't look like it's going to be helpful. I know you get a... Oh, hey, good. Okay, we've got a backup just in case. Alright, let's get this one started. And there we go. We'll expand this platform a little bit. Go ahead and place these down. That way if uh, any more saplings drop, we will not lose them. Hopefully. Got seven left. And we'll just go ahead and expand on this side. Alright, we'll go back up in here and get the rest of this wood. And we'll go ahead and make us a crook. Now a crook is useful because it uh, allows you to get a higher rate of sapling drops plus also a chance of a silkworm which we will need at some point and we got a sapling all 
Alrighty, doesn't look like we got anything else, so we'll go ahead and plant the next one and we'll get it going. In case you're wondering, we're hitting the shift key to uh, accelerate the growth. It looks like we got a sapling right off the bat. Now we're going to make us a wooden axe. Oops. There we go. Now we can work a little bit quicker. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm wondering if Vein Miner works with this crook. Sure does. Whether that was... A oh, hey. Got eight. Yeah, that works. That saves a lot of time. Alright. Go ahead and plant the next one. Get it going. Ooh, and we got us a big tree. All right, let's see how far out it goes. Yeah, we're going to need to expand this platform if we're going to want to catch all the saplings. So we'll go ahead and do that before we think about cutting this thing down. Okay, that should take care of that side. And we'll go ahead and expand out this way as well. At least a little bit. There we go. And wonder if I can vein miner this thing. Uh probably not a good idea. Unless I yeah, I better not do that. We'll go ahead and take this block out or this bottom trunk out first. That way it's not connected to anything. Now for sure we can use our vein miner take all that out. Got all that wood. Go ahead and make us another crook. Because we're going to vein miner the leaves. Oops. Or at least a portion of them. And it looks like we got us a silkworm. Good, 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 good. Okay, and does that side need to be expanded out? kind of sort of does. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do that. Figure two ought to be enough. Careful not to walk off the edge. Alrighty, and we will take out as much as it will allow. Alright, so that'll get us going. Alright, now we're going to make us a new set of dirt here in a second. And in order to do that, we're going to need to make a barrel. And if I remember properly, it's done like that. Yes, it is. Okay, it's our composting barrel. So we'll go ahead and set that right there. And we'll go ahead and load up some saplings in it and let that compost into some dirt. All right, anyway, while we wait for that, we'll go ahead and plant our next sapling. And we'll get it growing. And a regular sized tree, good. We'll go ahead and take it out. And we'll vein miner that. And we'll make us another crook. Actually, we'll start making a couple of them. Because I know we're going to need a lot. And vein miner. Boom. There we go. Next sapling. And the dirt should be ready. Get that. And we'll go ahead and space this one out to the edge over here. We'll keep it in line with this other one just for OCD's sake. There we go. And we'll throw a sapling down on it. 
and we'll get some more dirt going. And that was grown. And that one's grown. All right. We've got seven slabs. We'll go ahead and make some more, expand this out a little bit. And might as well go ahead and place this torch down. Just so we got some light to work with. And we're going to go ahead and drop down to the lower level down here. So this way uh, we don't get any mob spawns. There we go. Yeah, for those of you not familiar with this mod, it's uh, I played around with it for a little while, about a week or two, and I had a lot of fun with it. It has some uh, unique qualities to it, which I'm hoping to feature in the mod or in the series here, such as uh, the move fluids. I was really having fun with that, and that's going to be one of my goals in the you know in the very beginning here is to get some of that going alrighty well I've got several dirt and uh, placed down and I went ahead and got the the floor here lowered in this area here I'll eventually take all this out and lower it as well but uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and get these trees going then we're gonna uh, infest them with uh, the silkworm on at least uh, one of them to try to get enough string to build our first sieve so we'll go ahead and get going on this all righty, uh, we're recording here in the rain, noisy as it is. Uh, the silkworms have fully infested these trees, so time to get to work. 31 string, 9 uh, silkworms, excellent. 3 silk meshes, I think we only need 2. So let's take a look at it real quick. And we're going to do just a regular sieve. Yeah, so just two of them is all we need. Two of those. And, oh, wrong one. Two of those. Excellent. All right, we got our first sieve. So we'll go ahead and uh, plop that down right there. And I know I've got a little bit of dirt that I've made already. And we'll just start going through it real quick, see if we get anything. Alrighty, well, the rain finally stopped. We managed to collect several uh, of these uh, oak barrels full of water. And uh, I managed to sieve enough dirt to get enough stones to make a uh, furnace here. And where is it? Oh, I've got it on me. 19 cobble. Uh, what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to make us one of those uh, wooden ex nylo hammers. So we'll get to working on that right now because what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make us some dust so that we can make some clay. I've got uh, charcoal making right now so we'll just place that one down and then we'll go ahead and hammer it. Take the gravel and hammer that and take the sand hammer that now we've got the dust now we've got some clay so we'll be able to make a clay bucket so that we can transport some of this water around to uh, do our crops and also to make a cobble generator so uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to make some torches as well but uh, we're going to go ahead and fire those up real quick make those torches while we wait and probably need to make a couple more crooks because I know we're gonna wind up uh, doing some more, some more trees here in a few minutes alright one more one more one more so do I have any more 
Yeah, no, I'm not going to use that stuff. All right, yeah, we'll just uh, get some more seedlings or saplings here in a minute. All righty. And... Uh, no, that's a flower pot. Uh, did I do that wrong? Let me check that. And we need a fire clay bucket. Unfired clay bucket. Oh, three... Okay, we're going to have to do that all over again. My bad. Live and learn. See, I think the last time I played this, I actually had a mob system up, and I would just wound up getting uh, water buckets from... Yeah, water buckets from that. But I decided not to go that route this time. We could, uh, That's all right. We can go ahead and use the... Uh, the clay bricks for something else, such as uh, oh, some of the industrial craft type machines. If I remember right, we have industrial craft here. So, yeah, anyway, we'll go ahead and make that bucket real quick. And we've got our bucket. Now we can do some water. Excellent. And just for continuity. Perfect. Alrighty. This other dirt should be ready. Gimme. And we'll go ahead and get the next row started. There we go. And get our hoe out. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and start planting those seeds. I know we had uh, those, and we got some pumpkin seeds, and some potato seeds, grass seeds. We're not going to mess with that just yet. And a spruce seed. I think we may go ahead and plant that spruce seed the next time we uh, remove one of these here just to get it going. But uh, we'll go ahead and plant these uh, here and here. Really? Where'd the other one go? That's odd. Could have swore there were two. Oh well. There we go. We got those going. And we'll go ahead and get this one to grow real quick so that we can get that uh, spruce planted. And the only reason I'm taking this bottom one out and then doing the rest of it is because I'm I'm still not 100% sure that it won't uh, vein miner won't take this out if uh, I hit this so, uh, you know if it's down here I'm assuming that it won't but it's not worth the risk maybe once I have jet packs I'll give it a try and just see if I was being foolish but uh, yeah so we'll go ahead and uh, take these out. There we go. And our spruce seed is now going to be planted there. Alrighty, well after discovering that you can't use uh, these oak barrels on top of the torches to make uh, lava out of cobblestone, I uh, found out you needed to make a crucible. Now in order to do that I had to make a whole bunch of dust in order to get uh, bone meal since I didn't have a mob spawner to get uh, bones to make the bone meal out of. And then I had to make clay and then uh, I combined the clay and uh, bone meal to make porcelain clay. We're going to make an unfired crucible and we're going to throw that in the smelter here. And we're going to smelt that thing up and then we're going to have to make some cobblestone to melt in the uh, unfired crucible there or the crucible when it's done. So here's our crucible and we'll go ahead and throw that up on top of uh, this right here. Now it'll be slow but it will work and I do have some dirt ready. Should be enough. Go ahead and sift this real quick. Get some cobblestone. Now 
Now I'm not sure how well this cobblestone generator is going to work due to uh, the fact that I don't have all the settings that I need for it, but uh, it'll do at least some. So we'll go ahead and throw this in there. Okay, and we're going to use our clay bucket to get some water real quick because I do know that uh, once we move the lava with it, the clay bucket will be destroyed. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab some water. And I've measured this out to where the water will come out to about here. It should, unless... No, it should be here and floating. Well, we'll see. We'll throw it down here and see where it goes. Yep, okay, perfect. So, uh, if we stand here, hopefully... Uh, while we're mining the cobblestone, which will uh, form right here, uh, it'll flow out that way rather than going that way into the lava. Alrighty, well it's just about ready, so we'll go ahead and hop up here real quick. Oops, do it that way. There we go. And as soon as it's ready, we'll put the lava up in there and then uh, the reason I've got this up high is so that this way it doesn't turn into obsidian uh, the water flows faster so I don't ever I don't have to worry about raising that up over there so yep there we go we got enough and there so what we do now is remove that let the lava flow and then there we go go ahead and pick that back up now we gotta make us a pick and I do believe I saved out three cobble in order to do that. And we'll see whether this stuff burns it up or not. So if we stand right here, and there we go. Unfortunately, it did turn that one into. So, we may have to make an adjustment to this. Alrighty, well, I decided to just go ahead and do the old style with the two side by side here. I was hoping that it would just uh, run it down this way and that the lava would extend before the water would do it, but apparently we're going to have to suffer with losing some of it for the time being. Not much we can do about it at this point. However, I do have a piston made. I did manage to get enough iron and some redstone from uh, sifting all that uh, dust in order to try to get the the uh, bone mill. Uh, what I'll eventually do is uh, throw a piston back here on the back side of this facing inward and push the cobble forward and then uh, mine it out then. And then uh, whenever I get enough redstone built up to do the uh, repeaters and such, I'll go ahead and do a, uh, a, a clock and just have it extend out a full 12, or at least until it hits here anyways. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some cobble mining and I'll be back with you in a bit. Alrighty, so I went ahead and backfilled this a little bit to where the water doesn't push me back, and I went ahead and left this channel here open because sometimes uh, the cobble will form immediately and it could push it either into the lava or back into the, uh, the water stream here and I figure it's a better idea to go ahead and have it uh, release it over here rather than risk having it uh, pop back forward into the lava. So yeah, so this is relatively effective just like that. Now if I'm lucky it popped this way and will appear over here and it doesn't look like it did. It looked like it went the other way that time. But uh, just an attempt to try to save some of it. And see one of them, two of them burned up right there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hammer these real quick and see if I can't get enough redstone to get a clock going and I'll be right back with you in a minute. So yeah, I've got the clock set up here finally. It took, uh, what, one, two, three, six, seven, eight pieces of redstone. 
and uh, it extended it all the way out to here and now we can mine cobble without losing it. It's noisy but it does work. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the episode for today. We did quite a bit. We got a, a pretty full field growing over there. We got our cobble generator going and we got a decent sized platform messy as it is. I'll have to clean that up off camera and uh, yeah I do want to thank you for watching, and I do look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until then, this is you, Abigail, saying have a great day.